Cole. Thank you very much, Mr. Yes, Chairman. Sir. I want to welcome both of our colleagues here. And uh, just, I don't have a lot of questions. Frankly, I just want to thank the chairman for bringing the legislation. I, you know, I think all executives, this is not a partisan statement, strain at the leash. And they all, you know, I've seen Republican presidents do it, I've seen Democratic presidents do it. Uh, and uh, frankly, they're using this as a piggy bank that they don't have any authority to, to do, in my opinion. Uh, it's blatantly unconstitutional. And if, if anybody thinks favorites aren't played or people are rewarded or what have you, then I, I would suggest you need to <laughs> rethink about what you know about humanity because that we're all made of the same clay and, and both sides do it. This puts the money where it belongs, back in the people's purse where the people's representatives can make uh, judgments about it. And it's a backdoor uh, to executive branch appropriating that needed to be closed a long time ago. I'm, I'm very proud of my friend and his committee for the work they've done in bringing, uh, bringing this forward. And I suspect it would be pretty unpopular in a Republican administration. You know, it, uh, I think, again, any executive branch uh, under either party is going to want this kind of authority and demand it. It's amazing how quickly they all change their minds about earmarks once they become presidents as well. Uh, I saw, saw certainly President Obama do that, and uh, I suspect uh, had, uh, had uh, uh, George W. Bush won his election in 1978 and been in the House, his view of earmarks as a legislator would have been considerable. But it's just simply the appropriating process belongs here. It belongs where it's accountable, where it's transparent, and uh, this is uh, money that's in the possession of the, of the government of the United States. It should be expended and appropriated by the representatives who are elected for that purpose. So I just think this is a very important constitutional issue. It's an issue uh, in terms of the appropriate balance of power between the legislative and the executive branch. You've done a real service in bringing this legislation forward. I just want to thank my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. 